Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom clone button in Salesforce using a screen flow. The idea for this video comes from one of our members, Jules. So thank you for the idea, Jules. And if you'd like us to make a video, if you have requests, consider becoming a member as well. This automation can be useful in a lot of different ways. But essentially, if you have a record and you want to duplicate that record, but you want to customize it in some way during that duplication, then that standard clone button just isn't going to work for you. The good thing is we can change that. We can create a new button based on a flow and that gives you a ton of control over how you manipulate the data as you're duplicating the record. Let's get started. So come to the flow screen here and create new flow. Make sure that this is a screen flow that you're going to create because only screen flows can be triggered with a button. Select screen flow here, hit create. The next thing I'm going to do is click new resource on the left hand side select a variable and call this record ID with a capital I, everything else lowercase, and then choose the data type to be record and choose the object that you're going to be duplicating. So in my case, I'm gonna do this on an opportunity, but this could certainly be an account or a task or whatever type of record you want for this, for this feature. So let's select opportunity and then make sure that available for input is checked. This allows the system to pass the entire record that the button is sitting on into our automation, into our flow. And once we have that record with all the fields and all the values, it's very easy to then duplicate it. So we've got our opportunity over here, record ID. You can then hit the plus button here and choose create record. And under create record, we'll call this create new opportunity. We can have all the field values set from the record that started our flow. And then in the next step here, choose that record variable. We only have one record variable, it's the record ID one we just created. There is one thing here I want you to pay close attention to. It says here, make sure the ID is blank. After the flow creates the records, ID is set to match the record that was created. Well, our record variable has the ID of the record that already exists. So our ID value is not blank. What's gonna happen here is we're gonna get an error unless we choose to update the existing record but we don't wanna update the existing record. We wanna duplicate this, create a brand new one. So this is telling us what we need to do. We need to make sure that the ID field in our record variable here is blank. To do that, you can add an assignment step just before that create new opportunity step that we made, and we can have this clear our ID. Assignment steps are really useful for changing the values within different variables. In this case, we have a record variable, so it's got a whole bunch of fields accessible in it, and ID is one of those fields. You can see it here, opportunity ID, and you can see the API name is capital I, lowercase d, and then we could say this is equal, and then we just leave that blank. That's gonna set the ID value to a null value. It's going to be empty. And the order here matters. So we start our flow, we have our original opportunity, we then, just change the ID, we delete out the ID in that opportunity variable, and then we create our new record. So same process with any other record you might wanna change. And it's very simple. We've essentially recreated the standard clone functionality with this. But because we have this assignment step, we could change anything else that we wanted. Maybe what we wanna do is clone this and set the opportunity close date to 30 days from today. Well, if we know that's always the case, we can change that value as well. Just like we blanked out the ID of the opportunity, we can change the close date too. So let's try that. We'll say in our new opportunity, instead of it being the same close date as our old one, let's set that to a new resource, a formula that lets us you know, calculate 30 days from today. I'm gonna call this today plus 30 days. The output will be a date value. And we can use the function today, open parentheses, close parentheses, plus 30. Check the syntax there, looks good. And that's gonna give us today plus 30. If there's any other field values you wanna change automatically, you can add these extra actions here within the assignment and it'll do that before we create the record. Go ahead and click save. And then let's create the button and we'll test this out before coming back here and adding a screen to this automation to give you even more control. I'm gonna call this opportunity dash custom clone button and hit save and activate. Now in order to create the button or the action that's gonna trigger this, we need to have an active version. So even if you're not yet ready to fully deploy this, if you wanna make the button, you have to activate it. 
Then go into Object Manager, go into Opportunity, or for you, whatever object you want to clone, go to Buttons, Links, and Actions, and create a new action by clicking the button in the upper right. Then hit Flow for our action type, and select the flow we just created, which is called Opportunity Dash Custom Clone Button. I'm going to call this Custom Clone and hit Save. Let's see how it works. I'm going to take a look at an opportunity record here, and the last thing is to make the button visible on the page. So you can do this one of two ways. If you're using traditional page layouts, you just go into Object Manager, Page Layouts to add it. Or in my case, I'm gonna activate Dynamic Actions here and just hit Upgrade in order for me to add the action directly from this page. You don't have to do this. You can do this with the page layout uh, if you prefer that method. But from here, I should be able to see my custom clone action. There it is. I'm gonna add it to my actions here and drag it near the top just so it's easy to find. For our testing. Hit save and the back button and it should show up right there. All right, so if I hit custom clone on this, I should expect all these values to be the same. It should be in prospecting, 10% probability, amount was blank. All this should be the same except the close date shouldn't be December 31st, 2024. It should be 30 days from today. So it should be sometime in February, 2025. Hit custom clone, flow finished, no errors, so that is good. And now if we come back to our account, we should see a new opportunity. Here it is, prospecting stage, February 26th, 2025. Now one thing you will notice is that the name of the opportunity changed, even though we didn't set that in the assignment step in that flow, that's because we have another flow that's running that has standardized the uh, naming convention of this opportunity. And we actually have a different video that shows you how to do that. But if we click in here, we'll see that the close date is February 26, 2025, and everything else is the same. So that worked perfectly. That's a successful automation. If that's all you need to do, and you know exactly what changes in that clone functionality you wanna see, and you want them to be the same every time, you're done. However, if you wanna give your user extra abilities and let them change values during that cloning process, uh, we can add a screen. And so let me show you how to do that. Come back into the flow builder and right above our assignment step here, add a screen. Let's give this a label. We'll say update opportunity fields. Actually, let's call this update new opportunity fields. Fill in the API name there automatically. And now we've got two options. We can pull from our list of input components on the left, like say a date field in here, and we could set the default value to whatever our opportunities say close date is and make it changeable. That's one option or we can use this fields option on the left-hand side and select our record ID opportunity variable. Now in the past, not all data types in a record variable were supported. I'm not sure if that's still the case, um, but it's always something to be aware of. There's usually multiple ways to solve a problem. I would certainly start and see if you can accomplish what you want to accomplish just by coming to the field section on the left here and dragging over those specific fields that you might want to change. Because if that data type is supported here, it saves us a couple steps. If we're creating a brand new field that's not already a part of our record variable, then we have to have that assignment step that we've already created literally assign our screen value into our record variable. And it's nice to avoid that whenever possible. So instead of adding that date value, I'm gonna drag over the close date field from here and this will be auto-filled with whatever the current close date is and still enable the user to change it if they want to. We'll do the same thing with the description and let's add you know, lead source as well. Then hit done. And because those were dragged on from that record variable, uh, any changes in the screen are automatically gonna be saved and applied to that record variable. And we're gonna follow through to that point where we create the new opportunity. Now don't get confused and think that because we're changing this, this record variable in our flow, that it's changing our old opportunity. It's not. Because what happened is when we started the flow, we essentially took a copy of that opportunity, brought it into our automation, and now we're just manipulating those values within the automation. The old opportunity stays exactly the same unless we were to add a step that updates it. And we're not doing any updating. Instead, we're creating a new opportunity and the way we can be confident about that is because we're clearing out that ID that shows up in the opportunity record. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Uh, I'm then gonna delete this step here where we're assigning the close dates today plus 30 days. 
We don't need this here if we're gonna have the user make that decision themselves. Then hit done. Let's save this as a new version and activate. Let's come back to an opportunity here. This is the newer one that we created. Create custom clone and you'll see that now we have this screen that pops up. Instead of it just saying your automation is done, we actually have some data here from our opportunity. It's pulling in that close date automatically. There was nothing in the description and there was nothing in the lead source. Let's change our close date to March 1st, just so it's different. And we'll, in our description, we'll add, uh, this was from a clone button. And then the lead source, we can just say other and hit next. And that should create our new opportunity. If we come back to the account, you can see we now have three opportunities. So that's working great. Here's our new one from March 1st. And we look at our details here, we can see that lead source says other, like we selected, and that the description says this was from a clone button down at the bottom here. Now we've created a clone button that gives your user extra options in that screen. We could take this even a step further if we wanted to. We could have this not only clone the opportunity, but also bring over the contact roles or the products that are associated with it. We can add those related records too if we want. We can even take the screen a step further and make certain parts of it visible or invisible depending on the way that they're filling out that form. I hope this video was helpful. My name is Brian Hayes with Rotive, and thank you, Jules, for the request. See you in the next video.